All right, and we are back for more pickle and wine grind. So that's what we're going to do. It is another harvest day. And I know last time we left off with not having an axe because we upgraded it at kind of an inopportune time, but we figured out the math was good on that. So we're going to just leave those large pumpkins there and plant everything else today. And then tomorrow we'll come back through and plant those spots. I could have saved it for all, or I guess I could have saved it all for tomorrow. But since luck is bad today, I might as well utilize the like chore time, I guess, and not waste any time outside the caverns. So I bought a bunch of seeds. I think I bought too many, but I will use them for greenhouses or ginger island or whatever. I'll eventually use them. So I'm just going to plant all those. We also have forage ready, which will convert into more, uh, more forage seeds and keep grinding that away. Even though I guess we don't need to, um, at this point we've also decided that if, well, like, when winter one comes, no matter what, we're going to be, like, either on the way to Ginger Island or almost there. So we're not going to do the foraging route in winter time. Um, normally what I would do is essentially fill all the farm with winter seeds. And that would be if I'm not going to Ginger Island or for like additional money in the winter time. But I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm going to skip that whole process. And that's kind of why I'm buying all the Deluxe Speed Grow too, because I want to have enough for the uh, Ginger Island to get established. I think a lot of what I'm going to do, pretty much starting like this week and next week, is um, getting ready for Ginger Island. There's not a lot that we have to do necessarily, but there are like little things here and there we want to prep for. Like I want to make sure I have like sprinklers ready, uh, some fence posts ready for that little mole like watering thing. Um, I just want to make sure I bring like all the stuff I need with me, like the proper gems for the gem birds and all that kind of stuff. So we'll start getting ready for that. There's not a lot to do, uh, but. It's just something to kind of get ready and stock up for. Otherwise, yeah, I think um, we got a pretty chill little week here. I think this is five days total that we're going to play. And most of which is some errands and then a couple of Skull Caverns runs when things are convenient. I also had to like double back and go to the desert again um, because I forgot the uh, Magic Rock Candy. It's just whatever. And yeah, so I also I already have the extra lucky ring, so I'll be able to combine my rings really quick on Ginger Island. But yeah, and today I'll go... I'll get my axe and deal with my pumpkins and plant them. I think my final harvest will be on the 27th or 28th, so it should be perfect. And that way I'll be able to... basically abandon this farm for the most part, aside from the greenhouse and all the kegs and stuff. And uh, whenever I like play this, I always want to grow pumpkins in real life. I've never actually grown a pumpkin before. They just take up so much space and I don't have a ton of space. So like delegating one area that's a three feet by three feet just to a few pumpkins doesn't seem worth it. Especially because I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't eat them. I don't really like pumpkin stuff. I guess I like pumpkin pie, which is basically just pumpkin. But other than that, I don't want anything to do with pumpkins so it doesn't I don't know it doesn't seem like a best use of like garden space you know so because right now we have like watermelons going but I don't know they're not doing very well like they're so small still and it's like I don't know I don't know when watermelons are supposed to be harvested I guess but either way that's like the one big plant we have everything else doesn't take up much space like, every, like most other stuff can be fit into like a one by one square with the exception of like some kale that's maybe like a two by two sort of deal. Uh, but anyway, what else am I doing today? I'm just getting my, I mean, this is just all chores. We have a little bit of wine stuff to do, but we can't expand too much yet. 
I, I really want to get that wine on a consistent schedule. Because like right now I have like 12 bottles of wine ready. I'd rather just have all 150 or whatever it is. But uh, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I know I mentioned before, sometimes it's useful to leave those big pumpkins until winter time to get all the notes. And I am going to do that, I decided. But not with this crop, obviously. I'll wait till the last crop. And I'll leave those until I get the magnifying glass. That way I get all the... Or not all of them, but a lot of the secret notes really, really quick. And yeah. I do need to... At some point I need to bite the bullet and just buy a ton of coal. And make all of the preserve jars. But I might wait until after we sell our first batch of wine. That way we have like a million or two gold to, to do kind of whatever we want with. And that way we can buy, we can start buying bombs if we want. We can buy just random materials that we normally wouldn't buy. And then I can't decide, I, I know I'm not going to buy the return scepter. But I don't know what else to spend the money on. I don't need, I don't need a golden clock. And I won't have uh, enough money for the golden clock for a long time. So I'm not worried about that. But maybe an obelisk. The, usually the only one that's worth it is the ginger island one. Because the totems are kind of hard to make. But you, that requires like 10 bananas. And I don't think I'll have 10 bananas for a super long time. But I guess money will be used for that. I think those are 500,000 or a million. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like super sure of all the exact numbers. I just know relatively soon here we'll have a pretty good amount of money, probably going into winter time. And then we'll be able to just buy whatever. I don't, I think our, our first wine sale will probably only be maybe a million and a half, maybe two million, which isn't bad. It's not bad for our first big batch, but had we grown our forest a little bit differently or a little bit faster, we we could have made that a bit larger of an amount. So like if you're doing a one year run, you'd probably want to have a much larger forest somewhere else, like in the desert or in the uh, whatever the area north of the mountains is called. So you can have like hundreds of oak resin and then make a ton more kegs. Because really the holdup now between us and our money is a lack of kegs or too long of processing time. So the easiest way to speed that up is to make more kegs. And again, if this was a more intensive run, we would probably have made more trees, more oak trees and more tappers. But I think like 40 or whatever we have right now is enough. I also really want to get those on the a nice schedule. But for now, they'll be a little bit erratic, you know. So that's totally fine. And then I think we have a couple of cavern days coming up. Just taking advantage of slightly better luck. And uh, usually, I mean, it, it's the point now where I'm only going to go if I have star drop luck. Or if I have like hundreds of staircases and I feel like I need to use them. And uh, that's like what today is. It's not a lot of staircases, but it's good luck, so might as well go. And then tomorrow will be the same case if we have good luck. Since it's a Sunday, we'll probably do a, a pretty serious Skull Caverns run. I, uh... I've noticed with the controller, like, I I tend to accidentally place multiple stair staircases at once, which gets really, really frustrating. Like, more, more often than not, it feels like when I place them down, it will set two down. So I don't know if that's some kind of connection issue with my controller, but it's not a very good use of materials. And again, not something I'm going to reset for, but it's kind of annoying. I, uh... I think I was looking in more into my one year perfection or my like second year, one year perfection thing. And that's going to be 
really, really hard, I've determined. <laughs> because, like, I'll need, like, 15 million gold. And even if I do it where I sleep for 100 days, and then from winter 16 to winter 28, I give myself that 12-day prep time, I, I think I'm still going to struggle to come up with that much money all while trying to befriend everybody in the town like to maximum hearts and do all like the cooking recipes and everything like that so i'm trying to decide how i'm going to do that without having to get like too too like too min maxi i guess like i don't want to get to a point where i'm just clay farming because that's not fun at all and it's not fun to watch like it's not something that most people like to replicate so I don't, I don't think there's a lot of value towards playing that way, especially if you don't enjoy it. Like if you're doing a, a one year, 100 million run, like I think a couple of those guys are doing now, that's a different story. But this goal doesn't really, doesn't really seem like it's worth it to do that. But I think if I play just like this run, but with maybe a little more diligence, it's possible, but I think it's gonna be a real pain. But I do really want to try it, so I'll probably start at that like relatively soon. Oh, we just got our sweet gem berry also. And so we'll, we'll be able to use that for the uh, the star drop. I, I always forget the guy's name. It's like, it's not Master Kenobi, because that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. I gotta look this up, because it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> um, the statue in the woods is what I'm talking about. And I don't know what his name is. Kenoshi, maybe? I'm Googling it. And uh, <laughs> my phone, for some reason, has like no connection. So I guess I'm not gonna have an answer. Either way, I gotta do that. I probably won't do it today because we're going to the Skull Caverns again, but I don't know, maybe my internet went out. That's not really important though. We, uh, we've been having, like, so many... I know, like, this happens a lot. My house seems kind of crazy, but... Like, they took out a water line the other day because because they're digging up our road. And I think maybe now they've hit a fiber line, which might be in the same area. And uh, <laughs> that wouldn't be great. I don't know why this seems to always happen. Like, our power goes out a lot. And I think it's just because we're in such an old neighborhood. I don't know. Either way, it's, uh, now it's internet, so we'll see what's next, I guess. It's kind of annoying because, I don't know, it's kind of nice to have, like, a reliable internet connection. Which I know is, like, a luxury a lot of folks don't have, but when you get used to it, um, I don't know, you get used to it. And so it's a bummer when it goes away. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully... I just hope they don't hit like an electrical outlet next because they're replacing, or not an outlet, but an electrical line because they're replacing natural gas. So I imagine that'll be pretty problematic if they uh, explode something in the street. But only time will tell. I'm not, not too worried about it. We did have like no water for six hours, which was kind of, kind of whack, but it could have been worse, you know? And there's a cool extended pause. <laughs> I never notice those things until it's like way too late. And, uh, oh, I, you know what I did also decide? I decided I do want to get the burglar's ring specifically for Ginger Island because I know the, uh, the grind for the shards is pretty gnarly and the grind for dragon teeth. Oh goodness. I don't know what they are. Um, that's pretty bad too, and the Burglar's Ring will help a lot with that. That, and if we can pair it with the Java Ring, we can get a ton of coffee really easily, and never worry about coffee again either. So, that's kind of what, that's another part of the plan going forward. So I guess I could outline that. There's not a ton to it, but essentially my plan is to finish out winter with this file. We'll go to Ginger Island. We'll get a second starfruit set up going there, as well as the starfruit in the greenhouse. We'll keep expanding our wine operation, and we'll try to open up the uh, 
walnut room thing. So we can do dangerous mines and get radioactive ore started. And with all that stuff going, we'll basically just um, set ourselves up for a little bit more money, mostly with the star fruit farm. Like the, the key room stuff isn't important, but it's kind of fun. And uh, we'll be able to like upgrade our weapon and get a galaxy hammer and stuff. So that's kind of what the new focus is since our money making machine is generally already in motion, I guess. So I guess that's kind of where we're at. And that'll hopefully get started sooner than later. Um, the soonest we can probably do that will be as soon as Demetrius sends us a Nautilus shell. I guess that's the quickest. So once we have that, then everything else starts again. But for now, we're just going to keep grinding out pumpkins and pickles and wine. And that's really it. I mean, I don't think I have the pomegranate yet, but that tree should grow any day now. And because I know I planted it last season with a couple days left, and it only takes a month to grow, so we should be in uh, in good business. In good business, we should be in business, back in business. <laughs> I uh, I was like reading a text about the internet. I guess our internet did go out, but it's fine. Um. Anyway, yeah, uh, I got sidetracked. I don't know why I left again, just to get sorted out. But also something I've noticed, I throw stuff away constantly, even though technically I should just sell it or hang on to it. If something's in my inventory, I don't really want it there at the exact moment. I just throw it away. And I, I don't know if that's like a holdover from playing a, a playthrough with really limited inventory, but it's a kind of a bad habit I, I developed. Um, but yeah, so today, another errand day, and uh, we'll just hit the quarry, get more organized over there, and then hit a couple shops, just to kind of... Oh, there's we do have pomegranates. There's two of them. And that tree is in, like, the ugliest spot, so we'll probably get rid of the tree pretty quick here. And yeah, again, all this is a waste. Uh, it's just burning time. I could have... I should have planted starfruit in there instead of the forage, since I've already decided to to not go the forage route, but what are you going to do? If you're doing perfection, I guess you need uh, 10 in all skills anyway, so I guess do that if you want. And uh, what else are we doing today? I kind of wish I would take the time to organize my inventory a bit more, but I know I haven't. And I know for a fact that I haven't as of like winter of five, so <laughs> it'll never happen. If you don't like messy inventories, you'll never like my inventory and you'll hate it even more once I get to Ginger Island and things get really, really messy and like scattered and unorganized. But I don't know. I don't have a reason for it or a justification for it. I just haven't been tending to it very well. Oh, the only other thing I guess we really need to do soon, once we harvest our last crop, is really, really have to make sure you have the sewers unlocked because you have to change your farming professions or abilities or whatever. So you have the artisan uh, perk. Otherwise you lose 40% of your value of your wine and pickles. So keep that in mind. I think I've mentioned it before, hopefully a lot earlier than now. But that was the main reason I was doing museum donations. Muse uh, the museum might be another part that is really a, a roadblock in the perfection in one year run. Just because sometimes you get hung up on things like uh, dwarf scrolls or like really low drop chance stuff. So hopefully that isn't the case, but it very well may be. We'll see. I kind of want to redo the quarry too, because it's like I have to skip one there. So I have like a double wide pathway. I don't know. We'll just leave it. But I at least finally cleared everything out now that I have like the axe and uh, 
and all that. I cleared it all out, I think. I should, yeah, I do, okay. So that's good, so stuff won't come back as quickly, but it still will because I haven't um, floored off the entire area. So until I do that, I always run the risk of stuff popping up and destroying my floors. And then I think we're back to the mine, or not the mines, I'm sorry, the uh, the sheds to deal with wine, since we're on that off schedule. Um, we got like 350 bottles of wine so far, it looks like, or a little, maybe a little bit more than that. So we're already looking at a pretty decent chunk of change from that. So I'll have money soon, and that'll be really nice. Um, I don't know if we'll, uh, yeah, we'll hit our 5 million earned. We won't have 5 million in hand, I don't think, by the end of the year. But we will have it, like, earned over time. A lot of that money comes from the Skull Caverns. Like, that'll probably be a couple million just from these Iridium runs. And I also, I guess I, I spent a lot of time deforesting, which is weird. I don't know what got into my head, but I just started deforesting everything. So I just fast forwarded there, but I went through the entire south and, and cut all the trees down. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I fed the dude to old master whatever. I never looked it up and I thought I was going to look it up and I just super didn't. I gotta, I gotta do it. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what to search. <laughs> master. Whatever, I'm not going to. Sorry. Second time in a row. I'm sure some you guys probably know or are screaming at me uh, what it is, but it's fine. It's a statue. He's not real. And I guess, so star drops aren't even really that necessary. Again, because I'm not going for perfection. And energy is not a problem anymore. The only thing I really need is health, which is from the like nasty snake milk that Mr. Key makes you drink. But you can't get that until winter anyway, so. I'm just kind of chill until then. And just always smelting still. At some point, I wonder if it'd be worth it to move all the kegs to Ginger Island. Just so I could completely abandon this farm. But I've never done that before. I don't know a lot of Ginger Island strategies. Like, you'll really see that once I'm trying to get golden walnuts. Because I don't know, like, the best route or, like, the pro strats for how to do it quick, so... I don't know, we'll see when we get there if, uh, if I struggle too much with it. Hopefully not. But if I do, I guess that's just one more thing to learn um, before the one-year challenge. Also, I sold a bunch of um, prismatic shards, which a lot of people don't do. Anyway, uh, that's it for this. I'll see you guys later.